What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna 3D print an articulated dragon. All I gotta say though, is there's so many cool choices to choose from. Like, look at these, they're absolutely insane. Which one is the coolest? And we're gonna 3D print the articulated dragon on my Bamboo Labs 1PS, or P1S I mean. And we're gonna be printing in this color. I got these on Amazon, I'll throw a link in the description. There's like different multicolors with these. Guys, check out the gar. I check out Rick, I just got done painting him. I've only been printing in single color here on the Bamboo Labs printer. Check out the hand, this thing's insane. All right, let's populate these by trending. That way we can see the most popular ones. These are the most popular trending 3D print articulated dragons. Man, that one's really weird. Ugh, there's so many choices. You guys gotta remember though, we are only printing in single color. Oof, that one's really cool too. Also gotta remember, this is the color we're printing in. So what 3D printed articulated dragon is gonna look the best? All right, so I've made the decision. This is the articulated crystal dragon, and that's what it looks like. So let's open it up in the slicer. Just look at this thing, it's pretty sick. Gotta love how easy Bamboo Labs makes this. Import into Bamboo Studio, open. Man, if you're new to 3D printing, I highly advise Bamboo Studio and the Bamboo Labs printers. They're so amazing and easy to use. All right, so the print is loading right now. We'll see how big it is on the plate. Ooh, that's pretty big. Let's see how long it takes. First, let's make sure we have all the settings right. This is a P1S, and we are going to be printing in silk. This is a PL, PLA silk. Hmm, should I do it bigger, guys, or keep it this size? How long does it take? Slicing plate one, five hours later. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do so. My name's Chris, I'm obsessed with 3D printing, and chances are we're gonna get along. All right, so it is loaded. This doesn't seem too bad how long is it gonna take four hours and 42 hmm should I increase the size or leave it this size that's the question when in doubt always go larger so let's increase the size here guys I'm just gonna highlight this and then click on this little tool here to increase the sizing let's try it at a hundred and fifty percent increase Oop, that might be too big Let's do 130. That's about as big as the plate can handle. Yeah, all right, so let's close this, take a look at the edge. I think that's good, right? Let's see how long this one's gonna take now. Insert clip, five hours later. All right, so we're looking at five hours and 45 minutes. That's not so bad. So let's go ahead and send it to the printer. Double check what printer I'm sending this to. Yes, I named my printer the beast. Don't judge me. Send to the printer, downloading file. Ugh. Come on already, there we go. All right, so the printer is turning on and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna clean the plate with some isopropyl, give it a little squirt. And I do this between every print. And again, I'm somewhat new to 3D printing. Houston, we have liftoff. I totally forgot, we gotta change colors here. So this always sucks about single color printing, but I had purple in here, good thing I just stopped it. So let's go ahead and switch that out. Ugh, I get so sick of changing colors. I really need to break down and buy the multicolor AMS. Unload, then the nozzle is heating up. We have to wait till it gets to 250. Then I'll pull the filament out. Those of you with bamboo printers, you guys know all of this. Hey, it's Ganga. Ganga. All right, so I can pull back the filament now and then we can switch the colors to this one. Man, this color is super cool. So I gotta find the end here and load it in. Go into your home, feed the filament. Hopefully this is enough filament for like five hours of printing. It's kind of a smaller roll here. Go ahead and load. As it heats up, I'm gonna push the filament in here. This is all kind of annoying, but it is what it is. There she comes. All right, we are done. Now we shall print. So we are ready to print, just making sure the bed looks crystal clear. Man, look how dirty it is under here. I need to vacuum in here. What do you guys use to clean your 3D printers? Hit me up in the comments. Guys, the print is almost done. We got a couple of minutes here, it says three minutes. It is finishing up here. It looks amazing. You can see it's finishing that up. So just a couple more minutes. So the print has finished and now the bed is cooling down. It's at 205 degrees Celsius. Man, it looks amazing. We'll let this 
cool down a little bit. All right, let's crack it free from the plate here. Oh, man, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome, guys. Look at this thing. Absolutely magnificent. Absolutely love it. The colors are absolutely crazy. Glad I printed this with the PLA silk. Man, this articulated dragon turned out amazing. All right, let's take a closer look at this. Do some zoom ins because this is really, really cool, guys. Man, oh man, can you check out the coloration of this thing? Absolutely amazing. It has like a glisten to it. That PLA silk is so cool. Absolutely in love with this thing. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'm obsessed with 3D printing and chances are we will be best friends. Brr.